I'm Rusty Wise with the Wise News Network, and today we are at the Cherry Blossom Festival in Cherryville, North Carolina. It's a beautiful day. We're going to walk around, talk to some people. We're going to do some interviews, and you're going to see all the sights and sounds of the 2024 Cherry Blossom Festival. Stay tuned. We're here with Mary Beth Tackett, the event coordinator for Cherryville, and also with the Chamber of Commerce as the director. Mary Beth, it's a Chamber of Commerce day at the 2024 Cherry Blossom Festival. It is. We're so excited that we've had a completely dry day. Um, I don't think that's happened in at least five years before the streetscape and COVID. So we've had a completely dry cherry blossom other than a few little sprinkles last night. So we're really excited about the weather. Now, last night, there was a huge crowd here for the Dirty Grass Soul Band. Right. What was the estimated crowd last night? Um, our police department said between nine and 10,000. Wow. Wow. And you were selling alcohol, and I saw some people enjoying their sales. Everything went fine. I understand there was no trouble. Can you tell me about the alcohol sales when it used to be that they had to stay in a certain area? Is it a social district now? It is not a social district. So we, I actually have a special permit for um, alcohol sales for this event. So that gives us like a perimeter where people can walk around and be part of the festival. It actually has nothing to do with local businesses and that's what you get into your social district. Um, but our alcohol sales, we actually used to have more issues before we started selling beer. Um, people would bring coolers of their own liquor and different stuff like that. So we actually had more issues before the sale of us selling beer. Um, but all the money that goes from beer actually goes right back into events and helps us bring the citizens um, more fun. So Now there's a ton of vendors here. What was the vendor count, like food trucks and arts and crafts and that sort of thing? Right, so I have 159 spots filled this year. Um, now some of them take up more than one. Um, but other than that, we have 159 spots filled. I think it's the most we've had in recent years. Um, like, I have never turned away food vendors. I was turning them away left and right this year. So our festivals are definitely beefing back up since COVID. You know, they kind of had to take a while to get back into the routine of things. But I think we're back full scale now. Yeah, there's a lot of food here. We've been to some festivals and they did not have enough food and the lines were just an hour long. But a ton of food here, a variety of food. Right. We try to keep like a huge variety. We try to keep local if we can. And then I'll branch out to some like to get barbecue or like Cousins Main Lobster, stuff like that. But other than that, we try to keep it more local. Um, most of my vendors come back again and again. And a lot of that is because they're they keep lines, but they're not killed. They don't run out of food, so they don't let customers down. And also um, the fact that there's not too much competition, but there's enough variety to bring more people to see them. So even if they don't shop with that food vendor, like say today, maybe they'll check them out next time. So there's a fine balance between the, the population that comes to the event, the food and the arts and craft vendors. But it looks like y'all do an excellent job at that. Well, thank you. Yeah, if people stand in line, they get mad. You don't have enough food, they get mad. So we try to find that balance. It's not always easy, but we do try our best to accommodate everybody. Anything else you'd like to say before we close it out? Um, I just really want to say thank you to my event team. I could not do this without those people. Um, super special people. They show up time and time again. Our first responders, Public Works, has been here since Thursday helping us out. So fire department, um, Cherville Police Department keeping us safe. Like it really takes a village and people don't always understand that. They're always like, you do such a good job. I couldn't do it without these people. And so they're the rock stars, not me. Yeah, I was talking to Chris. He's waiting to clean up, he said. Yeah, I think we're all exhausted, but we're we're so happy for the crowd. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you for supporting it. Thank you all for supporting it. Uh, it means a lot to us. We well, appreciate you having us. A great day, great event. We've interviewed some people and, and a lot of out-of-town people, too. So people from out of town are coming to Cherville, and uh, maybe they'll live here for it's over with. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, I actually stop, like, when I'm in Boost, checking on vendors if i don't recognize them i will ask them and 90 percent have not been cherryville people so that's kind of cool to see we've had a lot of king's mountain today a lot of shelby a lot some four city um so yeah it's cool to see how what the event draws all righty we have a big family here at the cherryville cherry blossom festival and we'll get their names first courtney mark mary evie Lily. And that's Hastings. 
He's trying. Yeah. Hey, almost. He's trying. What brought you guys here to the Cherryville Cherry Blossom Festival today? Well, we live in Gastonia, and we uh, I was looking up online things to do this weekend, and this just seemed fun. So thought we might come out and support the small businesses. Yeah, we've been here for about a year and a half now trying to find things to do locally, and um, me being in events myself, I she told me about it and said, let's go and check it out. We came from South Florida, and now we're in this area of North Carolina, and we're loving it. So Cherryville is a beautiful little town. Yeah, going north, we're about halfway <laughs> for the weather. Yep. <laughs> well, have you eaten anything yet good? Just the popcorn for right now, but we're looking at some of the deep fried Oreos. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. Okay, in Cherville, we have what what is called a lotta burger. And what it is, it's a cheeseburger on the hoagie rolls. So is there, have you ever had one? No. Okay, well... We have a lot of burger, and there's eight restaurants in Cherville that has lot of burgers. So if you get a chance, go and eat one. And then we're having a contest through May 15th. So if you go to one of the restaurants that's listed on our website, and you can vote and win prizes. Okay, we'll uh, definitely try that. That I sounds delicious. Burgers. I love burgers, so that's a good. good yeah, it's, idea. it's basically a cheeseburger on a hoagie bowl bun and cut in half. Sounds, sounds good. Sounds very good. <laughs> And how about the kids? What Are y'all having a good time so far? Yeah. Yeah. That popcorn is looking good. Yeah. Well, great family here. Uh, appreciate you guys interviewing. Have a great day. It's Chamber of Commerce weather. Yeah. It sure is. So welcome to Cherryville. All right. Thank you it's so much. It's a Chamber Day. Have yeah. Good day. day. Mayor H.L. Beam at the 2024 Cherry Blossom Festival and we're actually at the Beam Truck Museum car show which is happening behind us. H.L. Beam, it's a beautiful day. It is a great day for an event and uh, the crowds are just overwhelming me. I, I cannot believe the crowds. We got 169 vendors and uh, last night was very successful with the band we had. And I talked to a lot of the vendors, thanking them for being a part of our festival. And all of them said they were doing great. So it's good that everybody's making some money and getting, getting uh, able to enjoy the festival. So it's good for the local economy, the local merchants. And it was a very big crowd last night during the concert. Yes. by Dirty Grass Soul. <laughs> yes, it was. And I was privileged, our uh, chief of police, uh, they uh, ran the drone for me. They took the drone up 200 feet, was over the overhead bridge right here, 
and they zoomed in on the water tower down at Modern Palmers on uh, West Academy, and you could read the seal that said City of Cherryville on it. It's, it's amazing what that thing does. They said they just used it yesterday, and they were running a guy who had ran, and they said when they got the drone out, and we're going over the woods. He came out with his hands up. He said, when I heard the drone, I knew the dogs were next. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's going to be a great asset for our police department. Well, do you have any type of number that came last night? No, I really do not. Uh, I would just be a, a guesstimate, but I'd say over 5,000. Yeah, it was packed. Um, anything else you'd like to say for the citizens and the surrounding community? No, I just welcome all the outsiders that are here. We're welcome to have you in Cherryville, and we hope you'll come back. While you're here, please visit our merchants as well as the vendors, and uh, we want to welcome you back anytime. We're asking residents of Cherryville and also visitors, there's eight places to get a Lauderburger in Cherryville. Now, do you have a favorite Lauderburger? Do you eat lot of burgers? Yes, occasionally. Not not so much lately, uh, because I've been on a new medication for my diabetes, so I just haven't had the appetite that I normally have. But I do like lot of burgers, and I'm not just anywhere I go. I'll order a lot of burgers. They're all good in Cherryville. They really are. I like Blacks. I like Shake Shop. I like Ronalds. Uh, uh, yeah, there's eight actually. We counted them. There's uh, Max. Shake Shop, Ronald's, Heavener's, Black's Grill, <laughs> Vicky's, uh, Home Folks, and Medical Center Pharmacy. So there's a actually eight, believe it or not. I've eaten it all of them, but maybe two. But I did I did forget about Max and uh, uh, Vicky's. I eat yeah. there, too. And they, like I said, you cannot get a bad lot of burger in Cherryville. Cherry was known for the New Year's shooters, baseball, and lauder burgers. Right. Okay. Thanks for the interview. Thank you, Mayor Bean. We have two festival attendees, and what are your names? My name is Piper Trinity. And where are you guys from? I'm originally from Cherryville. <laughs> from here. Original from Cherryville. That's good. Now, what brought you here today? Um. So I'm home for the weekend, and I just wanted to spend some time with my sweet mom. <laughs> and I'm here just to enjoy the town's festival and to support our local businesses. Apparently she didn't want to spend any time with me like I want to spend with her. <laughs> now I do have a question we've been asking people. Now Cherville's known for New Year's shooting, baseball, and lot of burgers. Do you eat lot of burgers? Have you ever had one? And if you have, what is your favorite place to get a lot of burger? And there's actually eight places in Cherryville that has lot of burgers. Who wants to go? I'll go. Max Grill. Do they have lot of burgers? Yep, Max Grill. Okay, Max Grill's my favorite. Shake Shop. So we got Max Grill and Shake Shop, two iconic places to get lot of burgers. If you go to our website and go to contest, you can enter that through May 15th and you win some prizes. And we'll crown the and we'll crown the Lotta Burger champion then. Okay. Ooh, that'd be super exciting. <laughs> Yay. So have you gotten some good food today? We just got here, but so I've already making our way down shopped around. We started at the beginning and working our way to the end. Well you guys have fun. Appreciate you coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And there you have it from Cherryville, North Carolina. The Cherry Blossom Festival twenty twenty four is a wrap. I'm Rusty Wise. I'm Mason Beam. And I'm Patrick Craig. Did, did I do it correctly? These are the guys behind the scenes that make me look good. A lot of hard work. It's hot. We're in black, so you can imagine. But from the 2024 Cherry Blossom Festival for Wise News Network, we'll see you again.